But as a walk-on, as someone who is following a dream, who has a passion for the sport, you're here to fight a little bit more, but at the same time your role in the team is just to benefit the team as much as any other player. The Red Raiders have almost been known for turning hopes into dreams of guys who may not have signed that coveted letter of intent after high school. Guys like Sonny Cumby or Steven Sheffield, or in this case, Jonathan White. A five foot 10 inch bearded, smiling defensive back from a map dot in East Texas. Jonathan's a blue collar guy. Probably the best person I know on this team. The hillbilly. So he's a coach's dream. A good example in people's eyes by not making wrong decisions. A positive attitude in, in every situation and, and never, ever giving up. From his first days on campus in the summer of 2011, the guy known as Jay White by his teammates knew it wouldn't be his size or his tackling ability to earn him reps or respect, but his work ethic, both on and off the field. Every time it was really hard. We had a lot of heart to hearts and we decided that we wanted this thing and we we're going to get our scholarships and the respect from the coaches and everything. They told him that, that he probably would never see the field kind of deal and he just let it go in one ear after the other and, and came out here and went as hard as he possibly could in everything he was doing. Whenever the Jones was being constructed, he was working up at the top of, the, of that scoreboard just doing electrical stuff and, and working, you know, 10, 12 hour shifts of doing that, plus with football and school, and he's just, that's all he knows how to do is just work, 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 and, and I'll see this working out on the football field as well. On the field, Jonathan fought through a broken neck, countless scout team appearances before making a name for himself on special teams. He would sell out, and I don't know how many injuries this guy has and still has, you know, neck, back sacrifices his body for the betterment of the team and I respect that. Pat's on the hat. And now I could do is work every day and prove that I belonged here and that how much I care about the sport and as a school and just luckily I've been blessed along the way. At the Holiday Bowl this past season his coaches and teammates surprised him with the Admiral's Trophy, an honor given to just one player who demonstrates hard work, dedication and sportsmanship. That was a special deal because we had to pick one guy out of the hundred and something on our football team and he was the one that was unanimous as a coaching staff that deserves it. However, the best was yet to come following shortly after Coach Kingsbury's first bowl win. I mean, usually after the season, going into the spring, um, you know, I had a feeling that some guys were going to get put on just with some of the guys transferring and leaving out. And um, I know for myself, um, <laughs> you know, Cliff just made that announcement and everyone just went nuts and crazy for Jay White. I really, I really don't know how to say it. When he announced it, I was like, oh, he's not going to say my name. But when he did, I was just like, really? Is this a dream come true in my sleep? Am I really in this meeting right now? It was, it was amazing. I just couldn't ask for anything more. While most scholarships remain a year-to-year -year basis, that won't be the case for the hardworking, bearded DB from Bremond, who will be on scholarship for the remaining time of his career at Texas Tech, according to Coach Kingsbury, confirming the old cliche, hard work really does pay off. I've been noticed for a work ethic and for everything. I just feel accepted here. And whether I, I play, you know, every single special teams, I'm going to attack it the same way. Whether I don't play, I'm still here. I still love Texas Tech, and that's where my pride's at. For Texas Tech TV, I'm Courtney Davis.